Herbivorous animals, while not as bold as predators, can also be extremely dangerous fighters. Certain individual bulls resist entire lion prides, and even a timid zebra, in order to save its life, can trample its enemy. Now you will see the most epic cases in which herbivores demonstrated that messing with them is not a good idea. With their elongated snouts and smooth movements, moose have gained a reputation as peaceful and calm animals. Their strength is underestimated. Predators also make this mistake. In reality, moose are incredibly powerful animals, weighing close to a ton. Moreover, they are always in good shape. Moose can run for miles without rest, escaping from pursuit. In addition, moose are intelligent and aware of their advantages. For example, this beast went into deep water. Moose are excellent swimmers and can even dive. But here, the hoofed creature demonstrated cunning. Its shoulder height is greater than that of a horse. A moose can calmly stand at a depth where a wolf has to constantly paddle to stay afloat. The wolf cannot fight the moose, so it soon gets exhausted and retreats. It underestimated the cunning of this herbivore. Yes, moose prefer to run away from wolves and other predators, but if you corner herbivores, they will fight desperately. In battle, moose use all the advantages of their size as their main weapon, powerful, huge, and massive antlers. If deer use antlers as piercing weapons, then moose antlers are essentially battering rams. Simple, without frills, but incredibly effective. One moose with its antlers and powerful hoof strikes can literally scatter several wolves as if they were made of paper. But even if a moose doesn't have antlers, it can still drive away a bear, as if it's not the continent's largest predator, but some audacious cub. Medicine with a moose is a bad idea. For one mature male, only six or seven adult wolves might dare to go on the hunt. If there are fewer predators, one can only sympathize with them and hope that someone will take care of their wolf cubs. Predatory animals are often smaller than those they hunt. Compare the dimensions of a lion and a buffalo, a wolf and a moo. Hoof animals win in size and mass several times over, yet predators continue to successfully hunt them. This is thanks to the fact that most herbivores tend to be skittish and panic-prone. When a predator ambushes or startles its prey, it can't utilize the full potential of its size and offer proper resistance. Bulls are an exception to this rule. Horned, powerful, and very strong, these animals seem eager for the opportunity to measure their strength against predators. They too can be made to panic and flee. They are not always able to fight on equal terms with large predators. Nevertheless, it is bulls and buffaloes that more often than other herbivores turn around and choose to fight instead of fleeing. Sometimes bold individuals can fight even against enemies with a numerical advantage. Just look at the courage of this hoofed creature right here. It faces several lionesses, and most importantly, it succeeds. A massive lioness armed with claws as long as daggers is simply shocked. The bull decided to teach her how to fly. One strike, and the predator, weighing as much as a small motorcycle, lifts off the ground with all four paws and performs a true acrobatic feat. A genuine feat that deserves your life, doesn't it? Moreover, buffaloes often gather in huge herds that numerically far exceed lion prides. If bulls spot predators, they use their advantage and immediately attack. It looks incredibly frightening and epic. Lions have to climb trees, just like ordinary cats. And if buffaloes manage to surround several predators, they will ram them, try to trample them, and drive them as far away from their herd as possible. In fact, there are several types of herbivores that, at the first sign of danger, switch to counterattack and immediately engage in battle. 
meet the Oryx antelope, a born fencer. It has long, straight horns that slightly curve backward. Most herbivorous species use their horns for battle with their kind, for example, during the mating season. Of course, horns are also used for defense against predators, but much less frequently. The oryx is an exception. The horns of this animal are specialized weapons against attacks by carnivores. Usually, the antelope holds its head in a way that the long and sharp horns prevent a predator from unexpectedly jumping onto the neck. If even a large predator attacks the oryx head on, instead of attempting to escape, the hoofed animal prefers an honest fight. It turns towards the enemy and lowers its head so that a running lion, hyena, or leopard will run into the point. Such tactics require the animal to be cool-headed and resilient, and the oryx excels in these qualities. If the predator fails to stop and collides with the horns, it is unfortunately guaranteed to sustain a severe injury. Stabbing strikes have less stopping power than slashing or crushing ones, but they pose a greater risk of internal organ damage. Any modern fencer can confirm this. The blade easily penetrates flesh and destroys internal organs. If the antelope's horn strikes the abdomen, it can damage the stomach or intestines. Not only is this incredibly painful, but it also guarantees a fatal inflammation for the predator. If the horn hits the head, there's a high probability of damaging the eyes. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? Predators are uneasy about this too. It's good if the lioness realizes her mistake in choosing prey at the very last moment, stops, and runs away. The oryx tactic works 100%. Stabbing strikes are less effective than a powerful paw strike, so even if the horn injuries are a large predator, there's a chance it will finish off the antelope. Besides, experienced hunters can dodge the antelope's horns or make the oryx panic and turn its back to the enemy. However, the willingness of this hoofed creature to risk itself just to deal with the aggressor on its own is enough to deter many predators. So, powerful predators rarely attack oryxes, which also gather in groups. Paradoxically, those who are willing to fight to the end are less often forced to fight than those who will run away from any threat. What are your thoughts on this? This lioness thought that she could catch an impala by surprising it. The impala is incredibly fast, but now it has no room for maneuvering and acceleration. The lioness, however, underestimated her opponent. The impala not only runs fast, but is also one of the most maneuverable creatures on the planet. The hoofed animal reacted lightning fast to the lioness's pounce, literally leaped over the predator, then turned in midair and fled while the lioness was engulfed in dust. Zebras and wildebeests are the favorite prey of large predators in Africa. These herbivores unite in huge, often mixed herds, numbering tens and hundreds of thousands. By migrating across the savanna in these enormous groups, they search for abundant water sources into vast pastures. Joining herds is part of their defensive tactics. However, if you think that antelopes and zebras form armies for active protection against predators, then you're mistaken. These herbivores simply huddle together with their backs to each other. Despite their impressive physical qualities, zebras and wildebeests are skittish and prone to panic. When a pack of hyenas or a lion pride surrounds them, the herbivores scatter hoping the carnivores will catch someone else. Therefore, wildebeests and zebras almost never come to the aid of those caught in front of them. After all, in doing so, herbivores risk falling into the clutches of the predator, something hoofed animals almost always avoid at any cost. Almost. Among them, there are courageous individuals willing to risk themselves to help their fellow species. There are also strong animals trying to escape danger, but willing to show a few self-defense moves if necessary. 
And you know what? If a zebra decides to fight, even a seasoned lioness will regret engaging with such an opponent. Firstly, zebras have hooves to fend off the predator if it gets close enough. But besides that, a zebra is armed with teeth. While herbivores don't have pronounced fangs, these hoofed animals feed on tough vegetation, with which they grind with flat and large teeth. A bite from these jaws is very painful. This lioness surely regretted choosing such a bold zebra as prey. The zebra can literally pull the predator off its comrade's throat, allowing both herbivores to continue fleeing while the enemy recovers from the shock. Or, the zebra may break free from a predator's grasp, then pin the lioness to the ground and start biting her. Additionally, zebras are capable of delivering powerful kicks during desperate chases. For example, there's footage where a zebra knocked the breath out of a lioness, performing a kick like a boxing champion's uppercut. Or, it stunned the lioness with a powerful hoof strike to the jaw. Anthony Joshua would definitely envy such accuracy, wouldn't he? One hit, and here comes the knockout. It's not just about catching the prey, you also need to finish it off. These leopards forgot about this simple hunting rule and unfortunately paid the price. The spotted predator caught its prey, managed to knock it down with powerful paw strikes, and reached the throat. However, leopards don't sever arteries on the neck. They strangle their prey especially if it's as muscular as a wild boar. Another leopard decided to snatch the prey from its competitor, leading to a battle between the two predators. But it was a mistake. They tangled with a boar that was too strong and enduring. It withstood the strangulation, and when the panthers got distracted by their scuffle, it slipped literally between their claws. The leopards were shocked. They underestimated the strength and will to live of the boar. Just one last second, and the predators were left without lunch. This is not an isolated case. Here, a leopard unexpectedly ambushed a boar and managed to bring the victim to the ground, then clamped onto its throat. But the boar continued to scream even when the fangs were compressing its trachea. And it worked! This attracted the attention of a hyena to the noise. Fighting with her and continued to strangle the powerful boar was too much for the leopard. However, the hyena doesn't understand that the boar is squealing not from pain, but from rage. She thinks that she can take away the ready-made meal from the leopard and even maim the competitor. But she underestimated this boar. As soon as the panther loosened its jaws to fend off the aggressive hyena, the boar quickly rose, showing its tusks, and scattered them both. Although the leopard had just managed to bring him down, it was due to the element of surprise. In terms of brute force, the boar proved to be superior. Just to see how he tossed the leopard off with one swift blow. The cat miraculously avoided severe injuries from the tusks. And the hyena is in shock. She just realized what she got herself into. She can't resist the boar's charge, and the hoofed animal quickly escapes from the predators it gave such an impressive resistance to. A bit sorry for the leopard though, isn't it? Or do you always root for herbivores? Share your opinion in the comments. When predators attack herding herbivores, they have only two options for success. The first is employed by a few stealthy predators like leopards. They sneak up on the herbivore group, make a lightning quick dash towards their chosen target, and either quickly finish it off or carry it away to a tree. The key is to prevent other members of the herd from rescuing their comrade. Sometimes, as you can see, this plan doesn't work. The female's reaction matched the leopard's speed. She managed to come to the cub's aid and fend it off from the predator. The second tactic is favored by lions, hyenas, wolves, tigers, and many others. They scare the herd, causing animals to panic and to opt for chaotic escape instead of a well-thought-out defense. Then, carnivorous hunters catch up with the slowest and weakest. With them, it's a fierce battle since even an injured or old herbivore will fight for its life with the desperation and fierceness of the young. 
but at least the other herd members will not interfere. You see what happens if such a plan fails. The tiger managed to induce panic in a herd of Asian buffalo. Everything went well. The herbivores scattered, the tiger caught up with one of them, brought it down, and then sank its fangs into the throat. However, the striped predator underestimated its prey this time. Firstly, the bull turned out to be much stronger than the predator expected. The buffalo couldn't defend itself or fight back with its horns, and the fang grip on the throat was way too strong. But breaking the trachea or severing the tendons didn't succeed. The tiger had to strangle the victim for quite a long time. During this time, the rest of the herd calmed down and returned for a counterattack. They decided to help their comrade and managed to fend it off from the tiger. When a whole group of enraged, horned monsters runs towards you, even if you were the biggest wildcat on the planet, it becomes uncomfortable. Credit to the tiger, it held on until the end and didn't release its prey until it received a devastating series of blows. But facing a whole group of buffalo, it didn't have any other chance. In this epic showdown, the tiger lost and had to retreat. But at least it remained alive and relatively intact. The same goes for its prey. The buffalo managed to stand up, assistance, though it came at the last moment was not too late and critical injuries were avoided. It's not always herbivores who have to fend off predators. Sometimes other four-legged vegetarians can become a problem. Aggressive herbivores are not that common, but those that stand out for their nasty character harshly terrorize other animals. Among such gangsters of the herbivore world are rams. Their twisted horns are used as battering rams. Thanks to very strong neck muscles, a sturdy skull, a thick base of the horns acting as a striking surface, rams have become masters of headbutting. Additionally, they can almost instantly charge and gather speed very quickly. This allows a ram to attack even targets several times its size. With one hit, a ram can switch off a cow or drive away a domestic boar. But this time, the stubborn creature clearly didn't understand what it got itself into. A deer, a rival of a different kind. It's not as heavy as a cow, but it has another advantage. During the mating season, male deer engage in duels for the attention of females. However, they can also use their branched antlers for effective self-defense against predators. Deer antlers are genuinely dangerous with numerous sharp tips. When a deer attacks, avoiding at least one strike is nearly impossible. Moreover, due to the branching structure, the antlers compensate for the load during the strike, making it very powerful. This ram made a mistake trying to attack the deer. The battle-hardened beast, which has fought many times with similarly strong and brave fighters, taught a lesson to the cheeky shorty that he will never forget. The deer simply flipped its opponent and rolled it on the ground like a wet rag. The ram was lucky to have a dense curly coat that protected it from the most severe injuries. Still numerous stabbed blows, a devastating battering ram into the deer's onslaught stunned the ram and sent it into panic. You should not mess with the deer. Horses have been domesticated by humans for thousands of years. Over time, many have forgotten how truly amazing these hoofed creatures are. Not only in assisting with work and riding, but also in defending against various threats. Take this stallion, for example, leading his herd through a crocodile-infested area. The reptile thinks it's a stroke of luck, assuming it can easily grab the timid herbivore, bring it down, devour it, and scatter the panicked herd. Far from it. The stallion goes into battle mode. Easily pulling its leg out of the crocodile's mouth, the stallion then literally tramples over it. The reptile surely didn't expect this turn of events. The weight of an adult stallion can far exceed a ton. Each step on the crocodile's body is like a blow from a massive forging hammer. Of course, the reptile had to retreat, and no horse was harmed. 
The tactics of diurnal birds of prey make them incredibly inefficient. Eagles spot their prey, dive down, and grasp it with their large sickle-shaped claws. Thanks to the speed gained during the attack, prey has less than a second to react. Usually, they don't manage to dodge the first strike. Due to the acceleration from the fight, this is usually enough for the powerful claws to break a rabbit's spine. But not this time. In a fraction of a second, the rodents not only noticed the approaching danger, but also reacted in time. To prevent the eagle from turning around and attacking again, the hare dodges the bird strike in the most unusual way. The long-eared acrobat simply jumps over the bird, letting its claws miss. The eagle had no chance but to turn around at such speed and catch the rabbit, but the long-eared risked quite a lot here. The slightest mistake, and it would have flown straight into the bird's beak. But everything went perfectly, and the rodent remained alive and completely unharmed, while the eagle itself revealed itself, so it will have to look for prey somewhere else. In general, catching a rabbit for an eagle is not as easy as going to the supermarket for you. Rodents can be incredibly agile, reacting to threats in fractions of a moment. Just a couple of inches, a few centimeters, of evasion can make the bird's attack miss, leaving its talons empty. But this hare went a little bit further. It didn't just evade the strikes of the airborne predator, it gave it a fight. Just to see how the rodent leaps to strike the eagle. Such fantastic bravery is understandable, given that there's a den with offspring nearby. Yet it's still astonishing how fiercely the rodent defends itself against the predator. The eagle attacks again and again. It dives at the courageous rodent, but each time it receives a powerful counter. The feathered creature did not expect this. The hare constantly changes attack angles, turns in the air, and strikes with different paws. It seems like after Master Splinter taught the Ninja Turtles martial arts, he took some rodents as his new disciples, and this hare is the best among all of them. In the end, the bird simply grew tired and decided to look for an easier catch, and the hare saved all its offspring. A real hero's victory. Gigantic creatures like hippos are herbivores. Yet unlike many others, they are highly territorial. When a group of hippopotamuses selects a water source for grazing in the future, then they would also consider this their property. They might allow other herbivores there if these animals don't irritate the hippos. However, crocodiles face a grim fate. Hippos simply hate them. This reptile didn't realize that beside it wasn't a slow-moving giant, but an enormous monster. The crocodile underestimated the threat and paid the price. The hippo trampled it. If there are several hippos, they might even share the opportunity to beat up a crocodile. In addition to ramming strikes and attempts to stomp the enemy, hippos also use their jaws. In such a case, the survival chances of even a large crocodile rapidly approach zero. Even if the huge fangs don't pierce the reptile's skin, the hippo is strong enough to effortlessly lift the crocodile and simply pull it out of the water. It's interesting that hippos use their massive teeth primarily for uprooting roots, but as you can see, they work quite well as weapons also. However, the key is the unrestrained aggression of hippos. Their charge not only drives away crocodiles, but also pursues them, terrorizes them, and after the battle, they finish them off. A hippo's weight hovers around four tons, more than many small cars. Even though hippos spend most of their time peacefully grazing, collecting algae and soft plants on the shore, it feels like they're always ready for a good fight, even if their opponent is a fearsome and toothy reptile. Perhaps the hunting behavior of crocodiles is to blame. Because crocodiles are excellent at camouflaging when leaping from the water for prey, then it can scare not only the attack's victim, but also other animals nearby. And if you scare a hippo, this will make the aggressor even more scared. 
Hippos compete with rhinos for the title of the second heaviest land animals after elephants. Therefore, hippos love lakes and rivers. The water supports their weight. But if you think a hippo is clumsy on land, then you're making the same mistake as this lioness right here. She didn't expect such a fierce resistance from the hippo far from its native water source. But the heavyweights turned out to be incredibly agile. It turned around and bit the lioness on the head. The entire skull of the predatory cat fit into the hippo's dreadful mouth, which then yanked just once and the lioness flew off like a broken toy. She was lucky that her vertebrae held up and that her neck didn't break. But this lioness surely will never estimate hippos ever again. Which herbivore has impressed you the most today with its combat abilities? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be able to learn about the most astonishing facts from the world of wildlife.